Welcome to this episode of YouTube where we completed vaccinations for all the wolves and we are in various stages of shedding still. Uh, Grizzer is uh, shedding out his coat. We're not using a brush on Grizzer just because he's an older animal with a little bit of, uh, you know, joint issues and we don't want to have anything harsh on him. So what we're doing is just pulling the long shed hair. This is his winter undercoat and just trying to keep him as groomed as possible. Uh, obviously the brush does a better job, but like I said, I don't want to cause any more, you know, uh, soreness. So it's a lengthy process. It takes probably about two weeks uh, for once they start blowing this coat for their undercoats come out. So you can see he's really started blowing his coat. He's lost a little bit on his tail. So he's got a little uh, uh, a bit on the edge and obviously walking through the underbrush is a way that some of that hair is shed. And so you'll find it on branches, you'll find it on stumps. Um, if you're out walking a trail in the wild, uh, you certainly can identify wolf hair from deer hair. And uh, we do know that when we cut things in here and create a fresh surface of sap, they like to scent roll, and as uh, we witnessed before. The other thing that we're kind of dealing with uh, is uh, a little bit of the fly season has started. It pretty much just kicked off with the last rainstorm and heat. So Luna has, really has no issues with the flies, but she's pretty smart about it. She goes into a dark area. She's very alert and uh, biting the flies as they approach her. So a little bit obsessed about it, a little bit focused about it, but certainly keeping herself pretty well fly free. In the exhibit pack, we are doing the same thing. Denali has not even started to blow his coat yet. Aiden is nearly done. Uh, Axel is done. Grayson's kind of got a little bit on his back yet. So staff are working to brush him, and that works out great for Aiden. Aiden gets confidence from being around staff, so he can deal with uh, certainly some antagonistic behavior from Axel there. So you can see Axel's ears are pricked and turned sideways and kind of in Aiden's face, and Aiden uses the power of being around the wolf care staff to be able to assert himself a little bit. And as I said, Denali has not even started to shed, so that's causing a little bit of uncomfortable response in this hot, humid weather. Wolves don't have scent glands to sweat, so they pant, and they try to evaporate heat off their tongue. And in northern Minnesota, when it's evaporation time and humidity, nothing is evaporating. So Aiden's still got a little bit of tension in the pack, and, and no doubt um, uh, this is a primary issue with Axel. You can see Grayson's right there, but he's not really focused on Grayson. Some of this is competition with wolf care staff. Grayson seems to have more of an issue with Denali, uh, where Axel has more of an issue with Aiden. And so um, clearly we're getting ready for the next leadership within this pack and I just want to remind people this is not a constant thing. Here's Axel with Aiden right behind him and uh, this is a calming time of the year so we do see uh, you know fairly relaxed and, and here shows that confidence that Aiden has with Grayson being near him has no issues with him but Axel causes him anxiety and as the fall season picks up we're likely to make a transition so the other thing that needs to be done, everybody needs rabies vaccinations. And so Bolts is first in the mix. He's the hardest to get. He's the weakest socialization with staff. So we try to give him a positive reinforcement for being there next to us and get it done as quick as we can. Aiden and Denali have a great bond with staff and are actually very easy to vaccinate. We always want to make sure that it's not problematic and that it's not a tense situation for them and so sometimes we give a shot sometimes if an animal pulls back we wait a little bit but you can see here Denali no problem getting a vaccination and actually Denali only needs rabies any wolf over eight we no longer do the parvo five-way vaccination per our vet care plan so Aiden and Denali only get rabies whereas everyone else uh, needs two shots needs the rabies and the five-way parvo vaccine so as you can see here, this is a concerted effort between two wolf care staff uh, trying to just take an opportunity to do whoever we can, whenever we can. It works best uh, if the animals, um, again, have other wolves around them because it just makes them less suspect. And this is Axel and Grayson's first hand vaccination by staff because last year they were being neutered. And so they got their vaccinations while they're under anesthesia. So very important that we then follow up with a positive reinforcement. 
and you know again you know maintain that social contact so that we don't have a negative uh, conditioning towards the wolf care staff. So one of the other problems that we have with Aiden is he lets out a little wine. We have to have uh, someone there to block, and we also have to have some distractions immediately given because that wine that Aiden lets out when he gets his vaccine is a sign of weakness and the wolves will go after him. So that's something that, you know, we always have prepared. The other thing, uh, we brought a sand pile in, again, trying to help give a little bit of bug relief. We use the sand to help fill holes, uh, areas that wolves have dug, but we also wet it down so it's a nice cool spot for them to lay. It's within the edge of the mister. And uh, again, trying to help bolts uh, who continues to have a little bit of a phobia about insects. And we are seeing that happen again, not as intense as we saw it last year. I think the bubbles are helping, but what he seems to be doing is isolating himself up in the woods. That gives him a little bit of relief from the bugs. The problem is he's getting some active rank order dominance from the pack when he comes back down for the end of the day. That seems to be short-lived. Uh, Aiden had it this winter when he isolated himself, and that seems to be the case for Bolts right now. So that's definitely affecting things a little bit. So in response to that, we're trying some fly ointment things. We are trying Advantix, which is a drop that goes on their ears to prevent the biting flies from landing. They're on Brevecto for tick control and other um, issues. And then we also do cedar oil on some of the beddings where we kind of spray it. The only concern we have with cedar oil right now is if Aiden does lie down or scent roll on it, that scent rolling posture can be viewed as a weakness and, and everyone takes advantage of them. So we're trying to reduce the things that make them scent roll. And so you can see here Aiden getting the Advantix on his ears, the others taking it extremely well. Like I said, Denali. A uh, very easy wolf to work with, and we're continuing to try to shed, uh, try to brush him to shed out. Um, and then there's a little bit of that scent rolling. Axel's trying to scent roll on Denali's head, so we give him a dose. And this is supposed to last about three weeks to be able to reduce those biting flies. So anything we can do to make it less problematic, so less annoying from flies, less health issues from the ears being chewed and bloody, uh, that's going to be helpful. So how do we check pack assessment? How do we assess packs as far as compatibility? We watch them how. In this clip, Bolts has got a little bit of laryngitis, and we're going to be looking into that. Um, could be related to humidity a bit, but uh, the pack is interacting, is howling, but you'll notice Aiden's ear posture and tail posture are quite low. But we have to watch facial expressions and how they track things, especially for the older wolves. We know there can be issues with canine cognitive dysfunction, and especially for Grizzer, who's aging uh, 14 years of age this year and so we want to make sure that that as he's tracking as he's watching people that there's good focus that he's not um, kind of locked into a stare we watch his mobility to see how he responds he's a little wobbly there and that's a problem in some of this heat and humidity uh, we also know from our experience with Lucas uh, who had um, some significant spinal degenerative issues he started crossing his back legs, um, certainly not sensing where his back legs were. And so we're kind of really watching that um, as the signs of, of Grizzard's overall mental and physical health as he ages. So we'll leave you with a little Luna Howl, and uh, we'll see you next week.